Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. Again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. Before we get into the NBA picks for March the 21st, we want to invite you to join the VIP club section, and you'll have access to all these great tools to help you make your picks more successfully. So let's go down and look through the games here as we are inching closer to the NBA playoffs. Teams are really vying for position for the best possible seeding. So we're going to take a look at the games on tap for the 21st. Now we're not going to look at every game that's played through game schedule. We're not going to look at every one of them. Let's scroll down here. And the first one we want to look at is the New Orleans Pelicans against the Denver Nuggets. The Pelicans are on the outside of the playoff race looking in, and the Nuggets are fifth in the Western Conference. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here that Denver has a plus 23 to plus 14 edge on the power ranking indicator and burning hot versus ice cold down. You can see the Nuggets have won five out of their last six games, and the Pelicans have lost four out of their last six. Head-to-head, -head, you can see the two teams have not met this season yet, so you do not really need to consider all those past meetings from previous seasons. If you're considering the over and under, you can see the Pelicans are trending in games four points over the line, and Denver trending in games under the line. So in that scenario, I would avoid betting the over and under. If you want to see how stable the two teams have been, how consistently have they been performing, according to their favorite and underdog status, you can see here that the Nuggets are extremely consistent here. Look at that, plus 11. And New Orleans not as much at plus 1. So this bodes well for betting for the Nuggets because Denver is playing at home. They will be the favorites. They're extremely consistent. I think the Nuggets will win this game and cover the spread. Orlando Magic and the Boston Celtics. The Celtics are the seventh seed currently in the Eastern Conference, and the Magic have struggled all season next to last in the conference. You can see Orlando dead stats and losers of their last six. And the Boston Celtics are averaged down. They have lost their last two and three out of their last four, and they are three and three over their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, the Celtics have been Steady over the last few days, they are at plus 15, and Orlando is at plus 3. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, you can see here that back on January 21st, Boston just completely dismantled Orlando by a 124-97 to score. If you're considering the over and under in this one, Orlando slightly over the line, Boston slightly over the line, you might want to avoid betting on this, but if you do bet on it, I would suggest betting the over. That is a better play than betting the under. Consider how consistent the two teams are, according to their favorite underdog status. Look at this, Orlando extremely consistent at plus 19. And this is really, in most cases, them losing because they've been underdogs in far more games than they've been favorite. And Boston is at plus 8. So I really don't see much difference in this game between the last meeting between the two teams. Boston will win. It won't be by 27, but they will win easily by double digits. Chicago and Detroit, we're going to bypass that one. Toronto and Cleveland, same thing. Washington at Brooklyn, here we go. The Nets are tied with the 76ers for the top spot in the Eastern Conference. They're probably the hottest team in the league right now. You can see that they've won six straight and really on a roll right now. Washington is dead stats. They have lost their last five. If you look at the power rankings indicator, there's a complete mismatch here. Plus 29 for Brooklyn, plus four for Washington. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, which is really rather uh, interesting, Washington has won both meetings. Now, they won by close scores, but they did win both meetings, 149 to 146 and 123 to 122. Now, don't let that make you believe that Washington is a better team. Obviously not. Brooklyn's among the top teams in the league. Uh, if you look at the totals predictor, you will see that Washington is playing in games trending under. And so is Brooklyn. But I'm going to scrap that because if you look at the past two meetings between these teams, they have played an extremely high scoring game. I really believe that this will go trend the same way, uh, going with the over. If you look at how stable the two teams have been, both teams are moderately stable at plus four. 
I don't think any of this is going to matter, though. Brooklyn is just a far superior team. They're so hot. I don't think it matters who they play right now. I would pick them to win, and they will win this one at home and cover the spread. Philadelphia New York. That will be a good game as well. I'm not going to do that one, though. Uh, Dallas at Portland. This will be an interesting matchup. Dallas enters as the eighth seed in the Western Conference, and the Trailblazers are currently sixth. You see here, both teams are average up at the moment. Dallas having won four out of their last six and two out of their last four. And Portland also four out of their last six and two out of their last four. If you look at the power rankings indicator, both teams have been on a slightly downward trend and they're both at plus 16. So you can see how close of a matchup this is. Head to head, also look how close this is. Portland won last meeting, but just by three points and it was as a road underdog. If you're considering the over and under in this one, Dallas is trending in games way under the line here. You see this minus six. And Portland is trending in games slightly over the line. You would either want to avoid betting on this because they're on opposite sides of the line or tend towards the under because of how far under the line that Dallas has been. If you look at how stable the two teams have been, you can see Portland is at plus nine. Dallas is at plus five. Both have been pretty stable, pretty consistent. According to their favorite underdog stats. Again, this one will be close. Portland is playing at home, though. They will be the favorite. I believe that Portland will come away with the win by a margin similar to last meeting. And then the game of the day the Los Angeles Lakers and the Phoenix Suns. Both teams are burning hot at the moment. You see that the Lakers have won their last three. And Phoenix, even though they lost uh, just two games ago, they have won five out of their last six. You look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here that. Phoenix is at plus 27, and the Lakers are on the upward trend. They're at plus 25, so a narrow margin there as well. Here are the head-to-head -head matchups. Uh, Phoenix won the last meeting by 10 points back on March the 2nd, and they did that as a slight road underdog. With the totals predictor, you can see that Lakers are playing in games trending under. Phoenix playing in games trending over. I would avoid betting the over-under because of that. How stable are the two teams? How consistent have they been? Los Angeles extremely consistent according to their favorite underdog status. And the Phoenix is not as stable, relatively stable, but not extremely stable according to, according to this method. And But I really believe that the Lakers being a road underdog, there will be a slight road underdog, but they will be a road underdog. You see the lines have, have not yet been put out, but they should be out by tomorrow. At some point, I believe that Phoenix has the edge in this one. They're more consistent, and they will win this one at home by a small margin. But I believe it will be enough to cover the spread. So there you have it. Those are all the games for March 21st in the NBA. Hope you enjoy. Happy betting, and we will see you next week.